Hello, my name is Yves Sanford. I'm VCDX number 203 and also CEO of the Comdivision Group. If you want to reach out to me, you can do so on Twitter at Yves Sanford is my handle over there or drop me an email y.sanford at comdivision.com. Today I'm going to cover VMware vRealize Network Insight, Active Directory and some other basic configuration of the system. This is going to be a rather short demonstration, but I want to keep individual features of the product separate so that you have small video captures to watch for. Configuring Active Directory in LDAP is actually not that complicated. All you need to do is we'll log in with the admin account, that's admin at local with the password admin per default, and then go to the settings pane. A uh, quick reminder, we are going to all do all this in the NSX eval mode, which is the simple mode of vRealize Network Insight. Switch to the LDAP tab, configure the domain, the LDAP host if you are using Active Directory. This actually does not need to be a domain controller, you can actually point it to the domain. You could also restrict which users would actually get access by default. If you don't restrict it, every user in your AD will have member access. If you want to restrict this, you could actually put in a group DN, information, base DN, and some other attributes here. If not, you just actually remove that setting and you're good to go. You also need to add an additional LDAP credential for account validation. I'm going to go the easy way, which you shouldn't do this way. I'm going to pick an admin account for that, but normally you would have an LDAP service account for that. Once that's all set, you can click Submit. The weird part what you need to be careful with is you need to be sure that you first now log in with one of these users, otherwise you can't see that in the user management. So hit Sign Out. And the next thing you are now going to do is I'm going to actually log in with my AD Active Directory user account and then you can see I'm a member role. I can still search for machines, but you can also see that below the VMware vCenter system, I don't have the add data sources uh, pane anymore. Also, if we switch to settings, we cannot really do any configuration. So we are going to log out again and log back in with the admin at local account to change the role set of the just created user. Um, this sounds a bit weird and complicated. The only point is whenever you add new users, you need to be sure that they once log into the system, use the ID account for that, and then later on they can do all the other stuff. So back in the system, in the setting system, go to user management and actually go to the network users, pick the correct role for the user. In this case, this should be administrator and you need to authenticate that request again. There is an open bug currently. If you click submit here, you get an invalid object, but you just close the window and everything is fine. Logging out and logging back in again, we should now have full admin privileges. So you could also see there were only two roles at this point in time. We realize Network Insight does not allow you to set up custom roles or anything like that. Back into the system, you can see we have the Add Data Source button back. You can still search, but let's quickly go through the other settings in the system before we um, take a closer look later on in one of the other videos in the features. Beside data sources, you can specify data center public IPs, which will be separately displayed. You can customize search-based notification. We covered user management in LDAP already. A mail server can be set, and you can also take a look at the about information about your uh, actual configuration. Beside that, information about the platform VMs and proxy VMs can be found here. Thanks for watching this really short video on Active Directory and other configuration parameters in VMware vRealize Network Insight. My name is Yves Sanford, VCDX number 203, CEO of the Comdivision Group. And if you want to reach out to me, you can do so on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Yves Sanford or via email at y.sanford at comdivision.com. Thanks for watching.